Hey, I'm Laika and I follow Chloe Ting's newest 2021 workout plan called the Flat Stomach Challenge. For the past weeks, I filmed some clips so that I can share my experience with you. Now, don't skip all the way to the end of the video to see the results. That's probably what I would do too, but there's no need to do that because I'm gonna share my before and after clips first. And after that, I'm gonna go through every single week showing you clips of the workout, giving you little updates of what kind of food I ate, and my overall activity, so if I did any other or additional exercises. By the way, welcome if you're new. I live in Germany and I make videos about food, college, health and fitness, pretty much everything that's going on in my life. So subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to. The new Chloe Teen Challenge is 28 days long considering seven days are rest days which is great you work out for 20 to 43 minutes a day and other than a fitness mat you don't really need equipment as promised here are my before and after clips i'm not pushing out my tummy i was just pretty bloated when i filmed this and i'm standing up pretty straight if i didn't it would look a little bit different like this I know it's not a huge difference, at least physically or optically. I also measured and weighted myself, but I'll talk more about that later in this video. Quick disclaimers before we start with week one. I could do a whole video on that, but here are my top three. Number one, you are perfect and beautiful the way you are. Number two, if you want to change something about yourself and your body, whatever it is, do it for yourself and not for others. And not only for the look of your body, but for your overall health and confidence. Yes, working out, it may sculpt and tone your body, which is so cool to see, but feeling the progress is so much cooler. With that, I mean being able to hold the plank longer or doing higher reps, stuff like that. And number three, don't compare yourself to others. Mm -mm. Even if you worked out and ate the exact same way like someone else, you will probably not end up looking the same way. Maybe because you're not the same height or your metabolism works on a different speed. And genetics in general, there is so much you don't know or don't see about someone else, so it doesn't really make sense to compare yourself to others. All right, week one. I was so, so excited. It's pretty late. We just finished playing some board and card games with the whole fam. It's almost 10 p.m., but I still want to start the challenge today. And that's what I'm going to do. I know this workout, but these two are new. So I'm very excited. That looks extreme. In the holidays, I really treated myself and chilled at home for 24-7, so I was just really looking forward to be active again. I kind of needed that because as you can see and hear, I was so out of breath. And the workout just started. Because I noticed how challenging and difficult it was, I was so proud of myself for the smallest progress. Said what is up? And guess what? still alive <laughs> my squid is dripping on my face <sighs> said to done said to done <sighs> let's continue i liked the hit workout i already feel good and that was only the first workout holy moly Yes, the new exercises were tough, my form wasn't the best, and sometimes I didn't even know what was going on. Oh my gosh, I didn't switch my leg. Or I wasn't strong enough, at least not yet. the workouts for day one i feel great what i love about chloe's workouts is that you always always get a good sweat in especially when you're doing the hit workouts so yeah i feel great and i'm excited for the next few days or weeks for the next month day two is done this was pretty chill but i mean i also only have two kilo dumbbells one question i got so so many times in another workout video was what time do you work out there is no particular time no rule let's just say usually i work out in the evening sometimes but very rarely in the morning it's day three it's not even eight o'clock 
And I'm about to do the workout now. It's only 25 minutes today. I'm only up this early because my sis left today, which is kind of sad, but I mean, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see each other this year again. It really depends on the day, how motivated and busy I am, but also on the difficulty of the videos. If they're super exhausting, I will definitely not work out in the morning or anytime before I had food. I know I'll get dizzy and I would feel like passing out. I did this booty workout for the first time now. This was pretty, pretty chill. Okay, second one, also done. I don't know if I did something wrong. I felt it a little bit when I did the exercises, but now nothing and i even used some ankle weights so yeah that's a little frustrating i just completed the 10 minute weighted app workout and this was a success chloe's app workouts they are very tough but also very amazing day six and i haven't really changed my mind hit and abs great as always but i'm still not convinced of this booty workout also i feel like i still have lots of energy i want to try pam's new 12 minute happy cardio workout i'm very excited <sighs> okay but now i'm really done for today week one is already over time for a quick update of course in the beginning i struggled with a few moves because my body especially my sense of balance doesn't want to cooperate so far i really like the videos i like the plan and it's really not that long and i'm saying that so that has to mean something not that long ago a single a single 15 or 20 minute video was already too long for me exercising regularly slowly becomes part of my routine which i'm very proud of next let's talk about my favorite thing in the world food um yeah, I didn't really eat that healthy. I mean, I had healthy, nutritious, and balanced meals now and then. But most of the time, I had leftovers, especially sweet leftovers from Christmas and New Year's Eve. Which I don't regret having at all. I also had some takeout. My sis was here for the holidays. I had no classes, no reason to be productive. I snacked 24-7 and was bloated all the time. Did I do any other exercises? No. I mean, it was the holidays, time to chill. Oh wait, let me just check my average steps. 3,720 steps, not that bad. I tried Pam's new happy sweat or 12 minute happy dance workout, but other than that, this is my current physique by the way, I took these clips today, this morning and I know you can't exactly compare them just because I'm also wearing different leggings Welcome to week 2 It's day 8, I just finished the workout and I feel great Life hack: always use two hair ties, especially if you're doing jumping jacks, any exercise where you're jumping Do you also check your abs <laughs> right after your workout? Because I do It's, I don't know pretty motivating. I know it's not a huge difference, but right after I worked out, I can see this line right here, which is kind of cool. I finished day 9, 20 minutes of arms. It's already day 10, and this workout was definitely not easy, but I enjoyed it. Hello. I am so, so full. I ate way too much today. It's day 12, and I was supposed to do a 38 minute workout. If I did the workout, I would 100% throw up. Here's the thing, I wanted to eat cleaner this week. I'm currently really struggling with that because I also have really unproductive days. My finals are coming up in a few weeks. So I'm starting to stress about that and everything is gonna be online. All the exams are online and i don't know if my university will find a way to get everything organized i don't know i just hope so i still have a lot of classes to do but you know when you don't want to do something because it's stressing you out you procrastinate even if it's stressing you out even more in the end but it is what it is and what's a good way to procrastinate yeah eat i know i have to work on that i will prep some food at least for tomorrow yeah, <laughs> that's my plan. I know I've had enough or too much sugar in a short period of time because my skin tells me so. I tend to get pimples. I know I'm not complaining. I am very blessed to have genetically pretty clear skin. But when I eat too much sugar, you'll see I'll get pimples. My skin has been clearer 
before it's just very itchy time to work out i didn't do a workout yesterday but i'm also gonna work out tomorrow on sunday when it's actually a rest day i'm two exercises in and i'm already out of breath I feel like this time this was a lot better than the last couple of times i just finished the workout and a couple of days ago chloe finally published some recipes on her website i've been waiting for this everything looks so delicious i'm definitely trying out some of them i also filmed a video where i tried her recipes from the website for a whole day so three meals it's right here just check it out if you want to a little update from week two this is gonna be very short because nothing really changed I still <laughs> ate a lot of sugar and processed foods yeah <laughs> I really don't know what to say but we can take a look my average daily steps were 2,615 which could be more but I didn't really leave the house this workout challenge isn't really a challenge for me I'm actually pretty excited to do a workout of course not every day but most of the days I'm very happy to do something else other than sitting in front of my laptop having online classes one thing I noticed or not noticed is soreness I think I never get sore from the workouts not because I'm stretching because I'm not i can show you my a part of my habit tracker for this month so here's where we are today and this is for stretching for this month i stretched one two three four five five times so far and then these two columns that's sugar free and dairy free there's not a single blue box and then other exercises no i'm really not leaving the house if it's not for grocery shopping or sometimes taking a walk now, today is actually tuesday but here's a clip of monday morning in my fancy mini mouse pants see you next week moving on to week three i could really tell that i was getting stronger day one of week three is done and i feel great my form is still not perfect but definitely better than the first week it looks easier than it is also guess whose skin is getting itchy again and i'm getting a new pimple it's day 17 i just did the 10 minute hit workout and this workout is not getting easier holy moly i was out of breath since the very beginning of the video <sighs> just finished the rest of the workout for today and just as always her ab workouts are killing me my average daily steps that week were a little bit over 5,000. that's actually the highest so far in that whole challenge other than that nothing has changed i still ate the way i usually eat so yeah that's why i didn't film an extra update clip since it was totally unnecessary mm -hmm. mm. Mm. this is what my stomach looked like in the end of week three in the blink of an eye, we're already at week 4. I can't believe this is the last week of the challenge. I don't see any differences, not really. Because as you know, I'm not eating that clean. But I can definitely feel some changes. Most of the exercises are getting easier. I feel like I'm more motivated to work out regularly again. So that's a big plus. It's day 26. I can't believe that after today, only two days are left. That's crazy. And here I am. The challenge went by so, so fast. And I'm so proud of myself that I stuck to the plan. Okay, I missed one workout. But other than that, I stuck to the plan for a whole month. Let's talk about the measurements. I actually gained a little bit of weight. 0.1 kilograms, which is about point, so 0 0.22 pounds. Who cares? For my arms, on one side I gained 0 0.5 centimeters and on the other one, 1 centimeter. That is approximately 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 inches. And now they're actually the same size. And I mean, <sighs> they're a little stronger than before. 
but only a little. For my waist, I lost one centimeter, which is about half an inch, to 0 0.4. And for my tummy, I lost two, almost two centimeters. That is approximately one inch, like 0 0.8. For my legs, this this is so weird. I think I measured them wrong the first time because apparently I lost 4.5 centimeters, but that is that should be completely wrong. By the way, I measured and weighed myself and took these before and after clips in the morning before I ate or drank anything. Overall, I really like the challenge. I said it multiple times in this video now, but Chloe's hit and ab workouts, oh my gosh, they are so good. I also think that this challenge was great for beginners because as I said, Sometimes it only worked out for 20 or 25 minutes and you trained your whole body, not just abs or not just arms, a little bit of everything. And I just like the idea of doing a challenge, a plan where you can take off the workout every single day so you really feel like you accomplished something. And I mean, you did. It's really motivating and helps me to be consistent even without a workout buddy. And as you could see, after one month, my body didn't change a lot for that i should have eaten much much cleaner maybe i'll try that now because my skin is getting itchy again now you can't really tell because i tried to cover it up with makeup and here on my chin i will get such a huge pimple i can feel it it's still like under my skin but it hurts I, I can feel the pimple so yeah abs are made in the gym but revealed in the kitchen meaning everybody has abs some people train them more than others but we all have them but when it comes to making them visible and toned it's all about nutrition and it's about lowering your body fat percentage so that you can reveal your abs the funny thing is i know that otherwise i wouldn't have told you what i just did but here's the thing i love food way way too much way too much to give up candy way too much to give up cookies and life's too short to not eat cookies and i live at home so when my sis or my parents buy something cool i cannot resist i could never give up desserts but what i want to do is try to make more of that stuff myself and i love baking but sometimes it's just more convenient to buy a cookie than bake it but when i make them myself i know exactly what i put into my body and maybe i can make a few healthier options so maybe healthier cookies but still cookies which are delicious anyway i don't want to make this video longer than it already is i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions ask in the comments or on instagram and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon